All right, what is going on, my dudes? We're back here today for Alliance War Season 20, Episode 12, the last war of the season. We have our Christmas Bronco hat on today because it's the last war of the season, and that means rewards will be coming out very, very soon, and that means Christmas, all right? So, up first, man, we're going in with Ghost, Wasp, and Nick Fury today. We're going on Path 2, Strike Counter Fury, and Power Struggle. I've never taken this path before. I'm throwing on an invulnerability boost here against Symbiote Supreme. Um, I accidentally put on the Greater Special 3 boost first, so I'm never going to see that boost again. But I put on the invulnerability boost just in case because I don't have Hood, and you guys know how Symbiote Supreme works. I'm not too concerned about this fight. It could potentially get a little dicey because of the Power Struggle here um, but as long as I just you know uh, keep a watch out for the staggers and for um, his power gain we should be good to go all right I'm not too concerned about like tanking special threes or whatnot in this fight it should be fine throughout um, here at this point um, you know we naturally went up to a special two we're gonna go for it here and we he's about to get three bars of power and we're gonna get one more hit off here I could have went for a special one and just ended the fight but unfortunately we did have to tank the special three thank god i put on that invulnerability boost though right this is the exact scenario that i was expecting and why i put it on because it is a six star rank three all right i don't know where all that extra damage came from i didn't have any buffs for him to nullify and eat um so i'm not entirely sure what that burst damage was from but not the biggest deal in the world i can just put on a little potion we should be good to go up next we have uh, strike counter fury brute force and power focus one invisible woman um this is one of the two fights that i'm going to be using the fury for um this is not my best fight in the world only because i was so focused on stubborn here and i was just so focused on not making her go invisible if that makes sense because i'm playing nick fury I, usually when i play nick fury like in quests and whatnot i pretty much always get to the second life um like right away and i always get to like 15 charges right away and um here i just you know i don't want to get to the second uh life if i don't have to so i'm just gonna play it very very slow um this is not typically how i'd be uh playing Nick Fury usually I'll do like medium light 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 and the combos with the lights and for some reason I'm just not doing that I'm just taking it very very slow um, this fight would have been probably close to over at this point if I would have played it like I usually do um, but for some reason I just wanted to make sure I watch out for her invisibility I watch out for stubborn and I just do this fight as safe as possible um, so I do have suicides on so I'm taking a decent bit of recoil damage here but at this point in the fight I was like all right let me just go ahead and get her down i'm gonna start doing the light attacks and yeah man i had deep runes at like four out of five so those light attack bleeds they're doing a decent bit of damage and um you know in the end that did cost me a couple potions for all of the times i used a special one for god knows what reason um but you know what no harm no foul not the biggest deal in the world that invisible woman is just flushed right down the toilet there not too bad at all now up next we have this shared mini boss here we have a taskmaster um this is just a six star oh it's a rank three wow okay an unduped six star rank three taskmaster very interesting rank up there um okay um, but uh it's a very very simple fight here with the ghost he's not a stubborn defender the nodes aren't too bad at all pretty much just get to a special two and that's going to be all that she wrote here um so charge up a heavy get a fury i'm not too concerned with the strike counter here i'm not too concerned with the fury that's on taskmaster i'm just going to bait out a special one and that's going to be the end of the fight here deck of the whole thing go right into a special two and that takes off well over half of his health and we're good to go man that was section one our next fight oh boy so our next fight here is against a rank three domino mini boss here um the nodes here are insane man crumbling armor force of will footloose and kinetic transference so every time she uses a special attack she's going to go unstoppable and evade kinetic transference every time that i block she's going to gain power it's also domino so there's crit failure there's chances for my face to fail but i have a plan man i'm gonna put on all these boosts i got tech boosts i have attack boosts i have a power boost this is my plan i'm gonna get to a special two as soon as I possibly can, I'm gonna toss off the special two. She should be almost dead if she's not already. And once I do that, I'm going to immediately use the special three and kill her. This is gonna work fine. Here I ate a little combo, not the biggest deal in the world, honestly. Going for a special two here, and she dexes the first hit. 
So after the special two, she's down to 33% health. Each hit did about 30%. So she would have been down to 3% health, okay? So now, let's see what's gonna happen here. Going for the special two. And I dex too early, man. I dex too early. I have two critical bleeds on me, dude. I have two critical bleeds ticking down my ghost. So I threw off the special three to get rid of the passive precision. Now, after the special three here, I can phase and I won't have the debuffs on me. But I went for an intercept there. Thank God she backed off. I'm down to 9% health. She's at 7% health. What's going to happen here? All right, man. All right. We went back to the corner we got our composure ready <laughs> you know we got our head back in the game everything that could have went wrong in that fight went wrong every mistake i could have made i made but you know we brought it back together and we got the solo and a very important war that's all that matters up next we have going on path four here we have a rank three uh mr fantastic a lot of rank three defenders this war a lot of them asr has a very 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 strong defense that's why they're in second place um However, here, I'm going to be using Nick Fury. I uh, healed back up to full, of course. I have, I still have my attack boost going on from my previous Domino fight. Um, and, um, you know, similar to, like, the uh, Invisible Woman fight here, I could, if I wanted to, you know, get into my second life, um, you know, get my 15 tactical chargers and just absolutely rinse through this fight. That would certainly be a very, very easy thing to do. But there's just, like, the possibility, man, the possibility of it not going the way I planned, having him toss off a special, you know, one while I'm in my second life before I'm at all my charges, and then having him um, evade me, and then he'll pretty much be, you know, unblockable, not for the rest of the fight, so I guess it would kind of be okay, but I'd still be messing around with um, only, you know, 30% health pretty much, and that's really not what I want to be happening. So at this point, you know, I said to myself, the fight timer has moved over to five minutes i might as well take advantage of that i'm only using a five star nick fury with no suicides by the way i turned my suicides off for this fight i'm um, just take it very very slowly i'm gonna try and get passive bleeds on him as much as i possibly can just let that passive damage take him away at this point man now he's unstoppable okay so i'm gonna have to wait for all those debuffs to fall off take this fight very very slowly here i need all those to back off before i can parry him hit into his block that that's okay. Now we're good to go, man. We're going to get right back into this fight. We're going to parry heavy. If he evades me again, so be it. But hopefully he doesn't do that. That's why I'm going to be tossing off special ones occasionally throughout this fight. You know, four charges isn't enough to get around the evade. As you can see, he actually evaded the special one. But it's okay because we're going to go ahead and get rid of those debuffs every single time we knock down Mr. Fantastic with Nick Fury. He's going to purify all non-damaging debuffs. So Nick Fury is a very, very great option for this fight for obvious reasons. Obviously, he's rinsing through it. We're still at 100% health halfway through the fight timer he's down to 30 percent health i feel like there was never even the possibility of me losing this fight um i've been at a full yellow bar the entire time i've just been taking it very very slowly letting that passive bleed do damage the passive bleed is not going to trigger any willpower healing so ideally you know we have as many of those on as possible okay um that's why i'm, I'm not really like too concerned with him um you know being passive but as long as that um passive indestructible isn't on him he's going to be taking away from the passive bleed and it's definitely not the optimal way to play nick fury for tons and tons of damage however in a fight like this against a rank 3 mr fantastic this is a pretty decent way to go about it here so here he's at like five percent health left and i'm just gonna let that passive bleed do the damage man i'm gonna shallow evade him as much as i can so i don't trigger the uh, indestructible but if i do not the biggest deal in the world we got through that fight with 90 seconds remaining um you know good fight good stuff it was a little long but hey sometimes you gotta go long all right so up next um we have a black widow clairvoyant here um i waited until all my attack boosts fell off um just so i can use less potions to heal up and then i went in here with a combat regen boost at about like 90 ish percent health and my plan here is to take this black widow kind of slow so i heal back up to 100 percent health during the fight before void um unfortunately 
I get clipped with like a medium attack trying to play very very slowly here and it ended up like counteracting all of the great stuff that happened from the combat regen boost so unfortunately right there that medium attack I took uh, you know it was kind of like a waste of combat boost um but it's fine. We're at 87% health now. Um, we got through that Black Widow very, very easily. Um, you know, Ghost is a fantastic option for Black Widow. She's a good, very good placement on path four, but not against Ghost. Ghost is the perfect counter there. Up next, we have this stacked Void again for like the fifth time this season. I'm gonna put on some uh, bigger boosts here. I'm gonna put on another combat regen boost just in case something goes wrong. I don't have a hood with me, so that way I'm not worried about taking a special three, but I am worried about his uh, debuffs you know doing a little bit of damage on me so what i'm gonna do here is the same as always i'm gonna just take it very very slow against void here i'm gonna you know always try to get to 10 on my combo right now so i can get rid of that debuff but if god forbid something happens and i can't do that or if i get clipped i want to have that combat regen boost going in the background just in case okay um so here at this point we're at 19 we're gonna wait one second and boom get rid of that little debuff very nice so at this point the plan here is i'm going to to try and intercept him and then parry and then special two if that makes sense all right so watch here okay i'm gonna go back intercept parry special two so we got rid of the protection before the special two and we also got rid of that debuff at the perfect time um at this point i have a special three in the bank uh, i think i'm coming to realize that the 200 percent tech boosts are only useful against like dr doom bosses because they just keep pushing me to too much power here at this point um but here uh you know we got that little debuff on us but not the biggest deal in the world we're gonna go for a special three here when he's at about 10 percent health left the special three did like absolutely no damage honestly it did like one or two percent and it was after i had the protection down too so i don't know man i ended up doing four percent damage there but at this point um the fight is pretty much over all i have to do is hit him like one or two more times gonna go for a special one here that should end the fight good to go really solid fight i've done that fight a lot of times with ghost now she's very very safe for it and up next we have our final eighth fight of the war man now keep in mind we're in third place asr is in second place we have to win this war to secure third place all right um so i'm going in here i'm gonna heal up to full with the ghost um I'm gonna put on some more boosts here, a couple more boosts for this Killmonger. I'm putting on a health boost, and I'm also putting on a power star at one boost. I have a plan, I have a plan up against this uh, shifting hazards Killmonger here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a bunch of hits into the block first, and then what that's gonna do is it's gonna bring me close to a special two, then I'm gonna, um, you know, start up his uh, reverberation, but it won't be taking any damage because it starts off with him at zero power. So this is exactly what I was planning. So a lot very nice here. I got some passive furies. I'm now at a special two. I just have to block to get rid of the indestructible. He's being a little passive, unfortunately, but at this point, beat out a heavy attack, go in. Let's do one special two, see how good we do. With no passive furies, we got him down to about 68%. Not bad at all, man. Now, unfortunately, you know, his AI wasn't being too nice to me here. I have to trigger the reverberation here, but I have to be, you know, very passive. But he's getting me in the corner here, but I see he has the indestructible. Now, when you hit him um, when he's indestructible from his special two for the reverberation you usually don't take any damage back so i said all right let me get out of this situation here and i went for a special two and oh my god apparently the stubborn indestructible is not the same as his special two indestructible and i pretty much just put the nail in the coffin there and um, that was a huge mistake. Um, there's no way to test that. There was no way to know. And that's very, very, very unfortunate. In the moment, I made the decision to try it. And um, if I didn't, I probably would have died anyway, though, because he had me in the corner. And it's Killmonger. And that's kind of what he does, you know? I wish I waited like two more seconds, though, like looking back at it. Here, I went for a really bad intercept. And um, yeah, man, that's all she wrote there. That's all she wrote. You know, when we were planning out the paths for this war, uh, really quick, let's talk about this now. So I said, all right, damn. I looked at my stash, let me just revive, heal up. Now I know I'll go back in, I'll finish the fight. Oh my god, I don't even have any items left for potions. And I didn't realize that because I was, you know, healing up the fury, healing up ghosts from fight to fight. I had eight fights this war. I wanted to enter at pretty much max health throughout. And um, we had to have somebody else finish off that fight, and they actually gave up one more death. So that killmonger had two deaths, two kills this war. It's great placement. It's great placement, man. The only 
champion that I would feel like really, really confident sending there is a rank three Corvus fully boosted, but you know, ASR did a great job Corvus proofing the map. We couldn't really get a Corvus there safely, which is unfortunate. So, you know, when we were planning out the war, the war paths, we were like, I don't know about this Killmonger, man. We all thought that that was going to be at least one death and it ended up being two. Aside from that, um, we gave up a death to the boss as well. And there was a fluke quake fight boss as well. Um, overall, you know, we thought that the Killmonger was gonna be a problem, and he was. But in the end, um, you may have seen other four Loki members' videos already who have said this, but four Loki did end up winning the war by, I believe, two deaths, or maybe even one death. We won by like one or two kills there, um, and we secured third place for the season, unless dockings happen, unless, um, you know, other stuff goes down, adjustments happen, I don't know. The rewards haven't been sent out yet, the leaderboard hasn't been finalized, but pretty sure if all things hold up, 4Loki is ending in third place on the season. So personally, I had a pretty terrible last fight to my really, really great season. However, overall, I had a pretty nice season, I think. Um, with all that being said, let's jump over to the individual stats real quick here. So war number 12 versus ASR, it brought me to 73 kills and five deaths. Our solo rate pretty much staying the same at around 94%, just missed that 95%, which is very unfortunate. Uh, our TDR is 93.75. Solo rate bonus ended in the positive at 0.12, which is awesome. 89.09 power rating, 1.3, whatever this is. And then in battle group one, I was ranked number two in Battle Group 1, and I am ranked number five in all of four Loki for power rating. So I'd say it was a good season for sure. Um, Ten wins and two losses. If we look at the deaths, I had five deaths, all right? Um, three of them came against the final boss node. Two of those final boss kills were when he had 1% health left. So like, holy crap, man, that should have been avoided for sure. Um, also, another one of my deaths came from that Man-Thing mini-boss when I was using Warlock when he was at 1% health, so that should have been avoided. And then two deaths, I got completely destroyed. That Killmonger and a Doom boss that I just did not play well. So, personally, I wish this was 73 um, kills and two deaths, three of them really sting. Two of them are absolutely deserved. I got wrecked against that Doom boss and that Killmonger, but you know, dying when they're at 1%, it stings. But overall, man, um, you know, we netted in spot number five in all of four Loki, which is really, really cool. It's a big improvement for me from last season. Last season, I was like spot number like 20. So my second season of four Loki was definitely better with the power rating and kill death ratio sort of thing. So that's cool. Um, for Loki is hitting masters two times in a row now that I've been here at least um, for doing the stats and everything but you know we hit number three and I've personally never been that high before so that's really really cool it feels good to be uh, placing so high in the masters bracket for sure and I'll probably do um, I don't know if I'm gonna do a video of just like you know getting the rewards and showing the leaderboard and everything but I might do that once it's all done and I'm also gonna be opening a ton of crystals with the rewards I'm gonna have like a big like you know 10,000 subscribers special thing with like three four featured crystals uh, 10 featured five stars whatnot some other stuff as well um, so that's definitely gonna be um, probably its own vi video but they might I might just combine them into two but regardless man point is that was the last war of the season I do hope you enjoyed watching it I hope you enjoyed watching that Killmonger meltdown that I had. Uh, if you enjoyed that, do your boy a favor and drop a like. Comment what you think about that Killmonger fight in the comment section below, and subscribe if you want to see that huge rewards opening coming to you very, very soon. I'll be seeing you around.